Welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla semi advocate, but also the um, transition to sustainable transport and sustainable energy advocate. This video starts out looking like one of our um, Giga semi uh, factory videos. However, I turn the drone and I head over to um, what is thought to be the Tesla LFP battery cell production facility. This is Tesla's, this was announced on the uh, June 28th. This is Tesla's first LFP cell manufacturing factory in North America. It has uh, only a 10 gigawatt hour capacity, but the, um, did you see that uh, large uh, building that was being erected? The, those are the, uh, those are the, that's the first of the Milan twins. Uh, they are not owned by Tesla, but I could see easily Tesla replicating this LFP factory there and in the building next door to produce as many of these LFP batteries as they want. These cells are perfect for and will be utilized in Tesla stationary energy storage products like the um, Powerwall for home and the mega pack for for large scale uh, stationary battery storage. So we are sneaking up on the uh, the Milan building that I only now can confirm that it is in fact the same one that was shared in Tesla's video on X. And um, by the way, notice the beautiful surrounding. The building in the middle background is the um, Tesla's high volume, I mean, Tesla's pilot semi production line and maintenance factory. So, in this one video, you're gonna, you see Tesla's four factories in Nevada Giga Factory One, which I like to call Legacy Giga Nevada, the high volume semi production factory that's under construction, Giga Semi the semi-pilot production and maintenance factory, and now this LFP cell production factory. This building is a repurposed Chewy Pet Supplies Distribution Center, so um, it's affectionately referred to as the Chewy Building. Lots of interesting construction has taken place to turn it into a LFP cell production line. This is now Tesla's LFP cell production line, and I won't even mention, and you, but you, if you've been following and if you know where they, um, where they purchased this line, but they have made it their own, and it is now Tesla's LFP cell production line. And one of the first things you'll notice about this um, is that the parking lot and the area around the um, factory is crowded. Look at the number of chillers there, the storage tanks. So this, this factory requires lithium, it requires iron, iron and, um, and phosphate, lithium iron phosphate batteries. And Tesla did announce a recent patent that may improve the um, energy density characteristics of this, of an LFP battery. Look, again, we're zoomed in and uh, this, this despite, the, despite the video they are showing they are producing cells, they're not at fully ramped at this time. Those um, pads are, look similar to the pads here where they have other equipment. And so the, I believe there's, they're expanding. But look how they have repurposed this building. Um, many of the uh, loading, shipping and receiving doors are covered, uh, blocked, and uh, replaced with permanent walls. And uh, I think of this probably as a prototype. Um, and once they, once they dial this in, I see no reason why they can't expand this. 
good look at the uh, some of the workings and it's, it's confirmed because this matches with Tesla's um, video with those blue um, large blue um, pipes coming out to the chillers similar similar chillers are installed over at the um, Tesla high volume factory Giga Semi and I don't know if that tells us that they're going to have a um, battery production portion of that building too. It wouldn't surprise me if that northwest corner is going to produce batteries for the semi or if they're going to get them from Panasonic. And the 2170s that go into the semi will be produced, will be um, sent down from uh, Gigafactory 1 and the Panasonic partnership. Here's a little bit of a circumnavigation and um, pretty exciting. By the way, I had seen all sorts of activity and had speculated that this was in fact the um, LFP battery line being assembled, but I certainly didn't know. It also could have been um, installed into where the mega pack production was was uh, space that was made available up at Gigafactory One. So it was a little bit of a guessing game, but I knew something big was going on here by the the amount of of vehicles, the high security, and amazing number of vehicles parked along Milan Avenue that actually the sheriff had to come out and uh, they had to they had to do some remediation on how people were parking. So here it is, exciting news. The first look at Tesla's LFP cell production factory. And at the end of the video, you'll see, you'll see the pilot production facility You'll see Giga Semi, and you'll see the Legacy Giga Nevada GF1. So you can see the Tesla Semis parked up in the left corner, ready for delivery to new customers. They've been delivering them two at a time. That is it right in the center background is the pilot production line. There is the Giga Semi the high volume Tesla semi factory and here's the new Milan twin building that's going up pretty quick but is nowhere near the size of Gigafactory 1. Thanks for joining and stay tuned for more.